so since our validations are in place all the forms are in place now we shall start to working on the coding part we shall start by creating a new user we will create a new user in the database we shall follow this scheme take information from the user in the form hash the password and take password plus other things to the database and then inform the user that you have been created and your password is this we can let us say set a default password called hoven we are not asking the user to enter a password at the creation time we are just asking his email and phone number after proper validation we shall receive these values in the function action method set the password as hoven hash it and send it to the database and then give the feedback that you have been created successfully and your password is this this means before we proceed we should first of all see what we have at in our hands at present this is the data entry form and this is the controller action controller for it in the new user i can do one thing i can place a message here for this i can write if string if not string dot is null or empty view back dot status message span at the rate view back dot so when we'll do something of interest in our action method we'll fill view back dot status and that message will be reflected on the form to the user we'll be bringing to the user to the same page and displaying the message so what happens when the user clicks this submit when the user clicks this submit this data will be posted back to the same address from where this page was shown this page is shown from the action method called index uh, create user create user or what is that new user inside so it is basically this get request that is brought us that brought us uh uh no i'll write write it like this it is get request login area by new user we were brought to this by the get request called login area by new user or is it it is not new user it is user by new user in the address bar login area by user user for this controller and by new user for this action method when this is called you are displaying him an empty form and when this is the empty form when he clicks the submit he is sent to the same address that is login area 
by user by new user but through the post request this means the receiver of this data will be the same method but with http post so by default if you are getting to some play uh, to some page uh, page through a get request in the browser and a submit button is there and nothing is written x in the arguments for html dot begin form just empty round brackets then you will be posted back to the same thing that is written in the address bar of course there are arguments possible so that you can post the data to some other page since in our form we haven't put anything anything specification of that type so by default the user will be posted back to this action method for this we shall have to create an action method of the same name but with http post another thing this will receive the posted data in object called tbl user as t let us say t is the argument it could be anything x y z so the data you are getting is in tbl user object here so all data that the user types here will be received into t with various properties set here we shall say, uh, password will be null because no password is specified so basically you will be getting the email and phone so we will have to actually add the additional thing for password we can now begin to write the code here but before that we can write a function to hash the password for this i'll i'm just typing inside it although you should add it into a separate class i'm writing private it could be used outside of this so i'm writing public static byte array get sha or we can write our own hash value string str we'll have to use sha1 crypto service provider resolve resolve to system.security.cryptography so these are the spellings which you should be aware of obj is equal to new provider then we can write obj dot compute hash from a byte buffer so it wants a buffer here we can use system dot encoding is not coming dot text dot encoding dot ascii dot get bytes from this as a argument str this is what we'll have to ultimately return return the computed hash for the incoming string now does it implement i disposable let me check out obj dot this yes since this is this implements i disposable i should write using so this will dispose of the object also correctly 
so I can now hash the value through a function okay now I'll code for the new user post request I can write if model state dot is valid if it is valid then I can set t dot password is equal to hash value so by default our password will be hoven since the password won't be set email and phone will have been typed by the user we are setting the password to a hash value for hoven if model state dot is valid then we can write using db user entity ctxt is equal to new ctx dot tbl users dot add t ctx dot save changes view bag dot status message is equal to save uh, created your password is equal to hoven we can write any other message like your advice to change it early or whatever and here I'll write else else we can write view bag dot status message is equal to some errors occurred retry so this is what our whole story is going to be now we can run it and verify it and then we can discuss it we are to go to the new user here we can type any email abc at the rate a dot com phone double nine double eight zero eleven nine seventy five click on the create user some errors occurred retry we can now go to look for this error what could be the reason coming back here most probably what I think is that this password is being stored later and testing is being done earlier this line should be moved outside here so I have to write t dot remove that error model state dot remove I have to manually remove the error for the password because password is a required field otherwise and we are setting it to empty we are setting it to empty when the form is being uh, when the data is being saved and in this line although I am setting the password but the error is still not removed from the model state so I am removing the error, error for the password from the model state and this will validate it and then let us see whether we are able to create or not ok let us run it now login new user let us add a email phone create user unable to cast object of type system dot byte to string what is causing this error let us analyze password it should be byte and hash value it returns a byte nothing is wrong here can we check the annotations they are sometimes a source of error uh, where we are uh, this is our n file okay 
come to your password ok the thing is that the password is of type byte but string length has been mentioned as 10 this was an error on our part which we should remove here there is no point of string length because we are going to uh, hash any password length so this is something that was wrong here let us now run it and see whether we are able to create a user or not login new user z at the rate z dot com phone double nine double eight zero eleven now click on create user created your password is hoven so this is what we have successfully created a user and uh, the password has also been told to the user and now if you want these to vanish also then we can always come back to our user controller and just after saving the changes we can write model state dot clear this one line will make the fields vanish back to the default values login new user email r at the rate r dot com password create user so the moment the user is created these are defaulted back to empty values so with this we have succeeded in creating a new user here we encountered some of the problems one was to remove this password error from the model state when you are returning this tbl user object from your form password is not there because we are not asking the user to enter the initial password the password is not there so t receives its property t dot password as null and since it is null and database says that this is not nullable this causes model state to have a validation error for password so we have to so remove the password error manually then we had another problem that was related to conversion of string to byte we had put a wrong annotation here which was meaningless in this case and it was trying to validate the password by converting byte to string that was definitely the source of error there so uh, with this our module is complete we'll close it right now thanks